just to recap what we've been talking about, we started with asking this question, is happiness our innate nature or is it an external influence? And we were discussing this and going forward on this. And we said that this question is important because if it is our innate nature, then we can make effort to ensure that this happiness is there within us. And the way to do that is to have right understanding in the self. And with that, the right feeling and thought in the self. And you feel happy. If we think that happiness is something to get from outside, it is an external influence, then we may keep trying to get this happiness from outside. So we try from the taste of favorable sensation. So through the body, through the senses, sense organs of the body, we come in contact with, or the body comes in contact with whatever physical facility. And this favorable sensation is something we experience. So we keep trying for that. That is one way. Another way is to try to get favorable feeling from somebody else, another human being. For instance, we may assume that we will be happy if we have, say, a big house or a big car and people will, other human beings will respect us. So if that is our assumption, then we keep trying to do this in order to get this feeling of respect from others. Just as an example. So these would be common methods of trying to get happiness from outside. And we have been doing this and trying to get this in continuity, but like we were discussing, this doesn't happen. So in this process, we've just been paying attention outside, not being a, paying any attention to within us. But now that we have gotten this proposal, or we may have gotten the proposal earlier, and we may have been trying to do it, we can continue to do this paying attention to the self. And again, whatever we are saying is a proposal, you need to verify it for yourself and try to bring it in your living and see that it works for you. Does it really lead to mutual happiness in your interactions with others? Does it really lead to mutual prosperity when you work with the rest of nature if you go by these proposals. Because if it does, then you can say for sure that you know now, or you have understood that. And this understanding, when you have in these patchy bits, ultimately, when you have understood the harmony in all the four levels of the being, that is completeness of right understanding. So we also looked at what is happiness. Is it the same for everybody or is it different for different people? So if we define happiness, we said that happiness is the state or situation in which I live. If there is harmony or synergy in it, then it is naturally acceptable to me to be in that state or situation. So we can say that to be in a state of harmony or synergy is happiness or happiness is to be in harmony. And one way of seeing that is you will feel calm, you will feel comfortable within. Important thing here is to see that you want to be, to continue in that situation. 
You want to be in that state or situation. You don't want to come out of it. On the other hand, when we look at unhappiness, it is the state or situation in which I live. If there is disharmony or contradiction in it, then it is not naturally acceptable to me to be in that state or situation. So obviously, if it is not naturally acceptable to me and I don't know how to come out of it, then it is like I am forced to be in that state of disharmony or contradiction. And that is unhappiness. So unhappiness is disharmony. And you can see this, that you feel very uncomfortable. That is unhappiness. You can see that. You're not happy in that situation. And you want to come out of it quickly, isn't it? Then we were looking at the sources of happiness, what we keep trying to do and what is possible for us. So we said that when you have the right understanding of the harmony at all the levels of the being, at the level of the human being, the family, the society, the nature, and the existence. That is, when you have the completeness of right understanding in the self, then this continuity is ensured. This continuous happiness becomes a possibility. Of course, we have to make effort for it. We have to understand this harmony at all the levels, then it should be possible. It has been possible for others. It can be possible for us, for each and every one of us. Ultimately, we will all get there. Question is, can we make effort to get there sooner? Similarly, when you have the right feeling in the self. When you have the right understanding, you understand the relationships. When you understand the relationships, you can have the right feeling within you. And there also you will find continuity is possible. Of course, these two are linked because if you don't understand the harmony at all the levels, you won't be able to maintain the right feeling. It, that continuity may not happen. So ultimately, right understanding is the key for that continuity of happiness. When you have this right understanding and right feeling, you can be in happiness in continuity that means you are now self-organized. You are no longer depending on anybody else outside. You are no longer depending on another human being or some physical facility or anything, any other unit for your happiness. On the other hand, when you are looking for happiness from another human being through the right feeling from somebody else. Now there is dependence on the other. Because now then you have to be dependent on their mood, their, you know, how they feel at a particular time. And they should be there to give you that right feeling. So obviously the continuity is not possible. It is very temporary. Similarly, when we try to do it from through sensation through the body, we are trying to get happiness through the sensation, through taste, or through sound, or through any of the other sense organs. You will find that you are dependent on this sense organ, on the sensation on the physical facility leading to the sensation. And there also continuity will not be possible. That is very temporary. 
So these are sources of temporary excitement, while right understanding and right feeling is a source of continuous happiness. Now we had asked if you could look at or do that experiment at home. At least with the sense sensory organs, it is very easy to do. You don't have to. It's something that everybody can try. So anybody tried this experiment to see that if you sit down with you know food that is appealing to you or you like the taste, whether it be sweet or salty or whatever, and you eat it and try to notice how long it gives you that pleasurable taste and what happens? Did anybody observe this? So the point of this whole exercise was to see that the happiness or that pleasure or that temporary excitement from such sources outside, you cannot sustain it. But you're looking for continuity of happiness. So for that continuity of happiness, these sources will not work. So as a proposal, at least, if we are not able to see it, we can just go by this proposal, keep that open for ourselves, that with right understanding and right feeling, that possibility is there, possibility of continuous happiness. If you look at excitement or temporary happiness, you know, whether it be from the physical facility consuming something which is involving your sense organs or, I mean, the body's sense organs, or whether it is receiving some favorable feeling from somebody else, some attention, some appreciation, what we think is feeling of respect, whatever it may be that we are trying to get, you know, the feeling that we are trying to get from the other, all of this can be only temporary. There is a dependence on somebody else for that. So while it is there, maybe you feel good temporarily, but you cannot continue it. If you try to continue it, at some point you get fed up, literally you don't want any more. And the taste also doesn't feel any more good because you. this is something that is, it cannot last. So while it is there, you have that temporary excitement. When it is not there, now you are remembering it and craving it. That craving sensation is also not happiness, is it? Because you want to now get it and have it again. So you go and get it and have it again. Supposing it's all over, now you can't get it. Now what? Then you try to, you become unhappy because you want that food or that whatever you liked and you don't have it and you want it and you're craving it, but you don't have it and you're unhappy. Now you try to run away from that unhappiness. You try to escape from that unhappiness by doing something else. So this is how people get into, you know, habits like smoking, tobacco, alcohol, drugs, so many things. But even beyond that, I mean, we think, yeah, yeah, we are very far from that. But try to see, do we also do it in the form of overeating, in the form of oversleeping? That when we are miserable, we are unhappy. We might be just watching TV and eating something. So even if we are, you know, if we continue with this kind of path, this kind of a program for happiness, then we are just going to keep shifting from this temporary excitement to trying to escape from this unhappiness when it is not there. 
still it is nothing there is no continuity isn't it this is what we were referring to as animal consciousness but when you work towards having the right understanding and having the right feeling once that transformation starts that is true development then you can get out of this loop of going on you know going from the temporary excitement to escaping from this unhappiness and that possibility of continuity of happiness is there ultimately that is the way to go that is what we want that is what we are trying for because everything we are trying to do in the outside world also you see we are trying to do it for happiness everything that we do we think it will give happiness even if we want to do some good for somebody else why are we doing that because somewhere it gives us happiness isn't it so how you can have that continuity of happiness essentially is by undergoing this transformation and this is what we are trying to do and in this process what we will be trying is to directly observe our feelings our thoughts directly observe and go beyond to deeper dimensions within us so this is what we'll be doing 